Hi, this is James with RC Sport Flyer. A few months ago, I was able to get my hands on a Graupner MZ18 radio. It's got a cool little color display. Uh, it's a great transmitter, feels good in the hands. Uh, it's also got the capability of telemetry, which I think is pretty freaking fantastic. Um, this system comes with a couple receivers, comes with a six channel, and it also comes, in this case, it's a 12 channel, the GR24. And both systems have capability for telemetry and uh, utilizing this little port right here. Just a little port in the side, plug your telemetry in, good to go. We're going to talk about some of those telemetry items right now. So the 60 amp ESC, it has some built-in telemetry that comes with it too. It's got the normal connections. You would connect these three connectors to your uh, motor. Of course, your battery goes on this side. This connect and connector is your normal, uh, goes to your throttle. And then it's got this extra little signal wire here. And this is your telemetry. And it plugs into your receiver uh, right where it says T. Got the little telemetry port, plugs directly in. That's all there is to it. And it gives you some feedback on some pretty awesome systems. It'll give you uh, your voltage, how many volts you're pulling through your ESC. It'll give you the amps. Um, it'll tell you RPM. It'll also give you the uh, temperature of the ESC. And it'll give you even a uh, battery capacity. And the way it gets the battery capacity is you program that into the transmitter, tell them how big of a battery pack you use, then it does the calculation on uh, what you're drawing through the system as you use it and it'll tell you what capacity is left. All of that uh, shows up in your transmitter in some of the telemetry screens we'll take a look at a little bit later. So another item that we've got telemetry for it's got this really cool variometer. This is great for sailplane guys. It lets you know whether you're climbing or descending and uh, what altitude you're at. So uh, how do you plug in two items of telemetry into the one port well, that's really easy. The way you do that is you just simply take a standard Y connector, plug that into the port, and you plug each of your telemetry items in to the Y connector. And if you have more than two, uh, two telemetry items, two uh, items with telemetry, like in this case the variometer and the ESC, if you had a third, you would just make another Y connector and this uh, receiver is able to sort all of that out on its own. And it don't need any special boxes, no special cables, any of that. And it will uh, report back to the transmitter and uh, you can see what the telemetry is doing. It's pretty awesome. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip. And uh, I'm not going to show you how to install all of these in the aircraft. I'm just going to install them. That's a uh, pretty boring, pretty basic fare. A uh, receiver goes where a receiver goes. The variometer, you can place this thing uh, in any position you want. Uh, it should be out of the wind stream, but uh, it doesn't look like it has any ports where the wind could get into there anyway. But it just should be uh, someplace that uh, calms, uh, I guess. And I put a little piece of Velcro on the back. I'm just going to stick it on the aircraft. I'll show you where it is once I install it. But uh, watching me install all this stuff in the aircraft is just kind of a waste of time. Everyone knows how to do that, I would imagine. All right, we fast forward it a bit. And I've got the receiver and the telemetry set up now in my uh, donor plane. It's a Visionaire. It's a great plane, but in my case, it's been crashed enough that it's my donor plane. And I just want to check out the telemetry, and uh, we're going to use this airplane. It's not really a glider. That'd be perfect for the variometer. But uh, at this point, don't have one available, so we'll use what we've got. All right. We've got our radio powered on. And we've got our aircraft powered as well, and it has to be for us to be able to check out some of the telemetry items. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first off, uh, it's a cool color screen. Uh, you can set the brightness, contrast, all of that good stuff. And some of the things that it tells you, we'll point out here. One, we've got our uh, voltage for the transmitter. We've got our timer. And we've got an, a little, uh, I think it's somewhat of annoyance. But it's the ESC telling me I haven't done anything with the aircraft. I'll touch the throttle a little bit. 
and it'll go away for a good 30 seconds or so. Uh, at the field, this comes in handy, keeps you from leaving your aircraft powered on and walking away. Starts beeping and tells you, hey, do something. Uh, I'm, I'm not detecting anything going on, so take care of me. But when you're setting up your aircraft, it can be a little bit annoying, but uh, you just have to deal with it. So, uh, aircraft shows I've got the Vision Air selected. And we'll start walking through some of the menus. All right, first menu, base menu. See, there's our little noise again. All right, so from here, you've got your model set, uh, model type, servo reversing, sub trims. Um, you've got your timer. And uh, let's look at channel set. Uh, channel one is my throttle. Two is aileron. Three is elevator, etc. We'll back out of that. So, and we'll go back, this is our base menu, we'll go back, and then we'll jump into the next menu, which is function. You can also go from these buttons on the top. I'm just going back to the main screen so I can show you how to get into each one of these. I'm going to bump forward a little bit. Here you got your, your dual rates and your expo, uh, your throttle curve if we had a helicopter. Um, it could be handy for aircraft too, not so much electrics, but maybe for a gas aircraft. Uh, aileron differential and a very important menu telemetry let's go into that shows us here uh, we've got receiver settings and data we'll go to that in a second sensor select in this case we have our variometer it's picked on esc module picked on and those are the only two we're using at the moment we've got the status of our rf signal this is pretty cool Shows our signal strength, 95%, error in milliseconds. It's got our uh, dB ratings. I don't know if I would ever use it, but it's cool to know that it's there. All right, I'll go back a screen. And we're going to look. Look at this. You can pick your voice triggers uh, for the ESC. I don't have any triggers for RPM current. Uh, maybe capacity would come in use. When your battery gets low, it'll give you a voice trigger and let you know. Uh, I'll just leave that turned on for now. For our variometer, I'd like to know our altitude, so I want a voice trigger for that. Click that on, we'll go back, go back again, and then we'll go uh, to the sense, uh, the setting and data view. This shows the data for each of our systems of telemetry. You'll just have to play around with this a little bit. Uh, you can pick your variometer uh, or ESC, it tells you what kind of feedback. This is where you program all your data in. You, uh, you tell the system um, how often you want to be told, your altitude for instance, uh, or if you're setting up your ESC you can put in your battery capacity, uh, number of poles for your motors, that sort of thing. Um, you just have to play around with it. There's quite a few items to go through here. We'll go back. Move that forward. So we'll go back to our base menu again. Then we'll go to the system. This is a, the main system screen. This is where you set up, um, for instance, your contrast, your touch, um, the main parts of this area of the screen, how bright it is, uh, backlighting off or on, etc. We'll go back all the way to the main menu. So this last little button here is our telemetry. It's a different telemetry screen. This is actually the live feedback telemetry. This shows our transmitter, 5.5 volts, temperature, 34C. We'll go to the next screen on that. This, it detected we have a variometer, and it'll start giving us the rise and the climb, and you'll, you'll hear some voice feedback and some bells when you're flying the aircraft. And it's meters per second. You can set it up feet per second. I don't mind meters per second. So we'll go to the next screen. That's variometer. This screen is all about your ESC. It's got your voltage. It's got temperatures. Hey! That's a bummer. But the transmitter is a little bit low at the moment. I'm actually charging it while we're shooting this video. We'll go to the next screen here. This shows current, your temperature, um, your RPMs, and your amperage. And if you advance the throttle, you can... You can actually see down here, the RPM go up, come back down. Same for the amperage, it'll save your max rates. It's a pretty cool system. 
All right, so uh, that's pretty much it for the telemetry. All right, so we're back at the home screen. A couple things I want to say about this system. Uh, I like the fact that the display is in color, but I love the fact that it's all driven by touchscreen. The menus are intuitive. Uh, I find I don't really need the manual for anything. If you do need it, it's 100 pages or so. And there's also a color version online. But, uh, but again, I think most people will be able to figure uh, their items out just by clicking around on the menus. Uh, the telemetry is outstanding. The voice feedback is great. You never need to look down at your transmitter while you're flying your plane. It's just not safe to do that anyway. So the voice feedback is really awesome. Uh, it, it's a very powerful system, especially for the price. So uh, I, I think most people are going to really enjoy this radio. Why don't you, uh, if you guys find things that you like, things I missed, things I didn't talk about, feel free to post those in the comment section. We look forward to all of that. It'll build our knowledge base too. All right? So uh, go have some fun with it. This is James for RC Sport Flyer. Happy flying.